change the cost during specific hours, but the company is reassuring customers that you'll only notice a small difference. Julie Denmeyer live in the newsroom this evening, and Julie, can this even lower some customers' bills? Use as much electricity from 2 to 7 p.m. during the summer months. Consumer says actually it'll only be about $2 more a month on your bill if you do nothing to change your electricity usage, but they're asking you to do it anyways. Starting June 1st and going through September. Not only is their bill going to be calculated based on how much energy they use. Your consumer's bill is changing. But also the time of day that they use it. Summer peak rates start at 2 in the afternoon and go till just after dinner at 7. The time of day the grid gets the most use. During that peak period of time where demand on electricity is higher, uh, prices will be higher as well. If you leave the AC blasting, dryer running, and dishwasher going at that time, it'll cost more. If customers do nothing, the average impact will be about $2 a month. But if you switch to different times of day, that's the key. At all other hours of the day, their rate is actually going down. Higher, but not by much. Consumers Senior VP Brian Rich saying if you pay attention, your bill could actually go down. Rich explaining that in Michigan in the summer, electricity usage doubles. There's no doubt about it. That is when air conditionings are running. Some plants sit unused the rest of the year. We have a very what's called peaky system. Which is why this energy shift is so important. Consumers Energy has a clean energy plan to be net zero of carbon emissions by 2040. And being able to not use electricity during the peak periods of time really avoids the build of new power plants. Now, because this gives consumers the ability to go ahead and regulate how much electricity they're using, Consumers Energy says you could notice lower electricity bills. The new rate does go into effect June 1st. Live in the newsroom, Julie Dunmeyer, Fox 17 News. All right. Thank you for that, Julie. And, of course, the Consumers Energy uh, summer rate not being applauded by everybody. Fox 17's Lauren Edwards is joining us live with an in-depth look at one of the groups working to prevent that increase from happening. Lauren? Yeah, Doug and Janice, earlier this afternoon, I got the chance to speak with an environmental group, and they have a number of concerns regarding the overall increase. And they're just saying, you know, they believe it's going to have more of a negative impact on residents. And it's not just that it's going to have an impact on the environment as well. Well, we're a, a primarily environmental organization. We also want to make sure that um, any rates that utilities are requesting to raise on all of us, that it's, it's being done so in the most uh, thoughtful and most um, uh, um, uh, meaningful manner. But the Natural Resources Defense Council, or NRDC, says Consumers Energy's latest request for $225 million increase is too much. We thought that was a, a, a bit excessive, especially as folks are still in the midst of a, a pandemic. Um, and for them to come around and ask for an additional increase, you know, we just, we feel like that's, it's ill-timed. Just like the one this summer, NRDC says they're concerned about how all the increases will impact certain people. Particularly, we want to make sure these dollars are spent, uh, especially in communities that really need it, especially black and brown communities. So the NRDC, along with a few other organizations, have joined AG Dana Nessel in filing paperwork to intervene. And they say they're going to be scrutinizing everything consumers does, especially how they upgrade their distribution system. So, you know, just replacing one piece for a, a similar piece is not going to cut it. We're going to need uh, upgrades that are going to ultimately enable more uh, wind and solar battery storage technologies we need. And making sure they're still on the road to decarbonizing their grid. And RDC says that's the ultimate goal. We just want to see, make sure at overall that these dollars are being spent in a, uh, in a way that we think that moves Michigan forward. And that is their goal. They just want to move Michigan forward. And they're also working with the Sierra Club and the Citizens Utility Board. All of them, again, very concerned about the overall hike because they believe it's just too costly on residents and the environment. Reporting live here in Grand Rapids, Lauren Edwards, Fox 17 News.